So as you can see, um, eating outside my backyard, um, that's something I struggle with, like eating in, um, eating anywhere away from my my room. Um, I can't even eat sitting on a computer desk. I even though my bed is only like me two feet away from my um, computer desk. Yeah. Alright, just wait for this airplane to pass by. Um, I do live where I live. The airplane passes by every like between five and fifteen minutes, and the airport's like twenty minutes away. But anyways, um, what was I talking about? Oh, um, I was talking about how hard is it for me to to eat anywhere besides on my bed because I get so dizzy of balance. around um, lunch and dinner. I don't eat anything during the morning because I'm usually not hungry until like 11 a.m. but if I do eat something it's usually like a little snack but I'm starting to I think I need to start eating um, oatmeal because just to have something in my stomach the reason why sometimes I don't want to eat, like, you know, too much, I try to take, like, break down my meals, um, because having that phobia with wanting to throw up and stuff, so sometimes I think, well, if I'm eating something that's going to make, cause me to have a stomach flu, because when I get a stomach flu, I'll be sick for, like, three to five days. That's how bad it gets for me when I have a stomach flu from a food poisoning, so. So I'm really careful with, with what I'm eating. Um, if something, if I eat something that gets me sick, and then I eat it again, like say a couple of months later, and I get sick again, I'm not going to eat it because I'm thinking it's something that that I'm allergic to, uh, it's something. So yeah, um, so when when I'm eating, I can't really focus on what I'm eating, I'm more focused on like um, every little movement, like right now I'm in my backyard still, so I'm just like leaning against um, my fence and while I'm looking ahead of me see like the side of my house, it looks like it's kind of slanted towards this way uh, sometimes it's slanted this way so it kind of throws me off it makes me feel like I'm either moving this way or moving that way so that's why it makes it hard for me to eat but when I'm using the computer I'm so focused on the computer that I don't really feel it as bad I mean I still feel it but not as bad as when I'm eating so that's why I have a hard time um, eating anywhere away from my bed but this morning, um, or oh, this earlier this afternoon, or oh, still afternoon number, when I was eating my my lunch, I was actually eating outside my um, front yard, and I was still dizzy. When right I'm still dizzy, I as you can see in my video, I was just eating. Um, I was just eating like some some fruits before I eat my dinner, but. When I was sitting down, I was like, I keep feeling like I'm sinking down to the floor. Um, uh, I feel like I'm slanted left and right. I'm just like, everything around me just feel like it was moving. So, so just being outside and eating is, is hard. Earlier, I was dizzy when I was like, when I was standing in the pool. Um, I'm gonna post a video up up here too. So.
when I was in the pool, that was before I ate, so that was like about an hour ago. But I didn't really go in the pool, I just step, took two steps in and that's it. Um, you see when I, when I ride my bike, um, when I go home, this is where I just stay for a little bit. Like in the alley of my backyard, the side of my house, because I get, I get so like, panicky that when it went in so I just make sure I stay stay away here for like a, a minute or two just to calm down before I go in the house well yeah when I was just sitting and I was like my head just felt so, so strange like head pressure the my lips it feels like my lips um sometimes I I bite them because they feel like they can fat or uh, they're getting numb so that's why I bite them, but other than that, yes. I mean, I was, earlier I was pretty dizzy too, like, about two, three hours ago, I was like, really dizzy. Like, when I went to use the bathroom, I, I was telling myself, just go, when I was using it, I looked at the bathtub, even the bathtub looked like it was moving. Like it was slanted up like it was about to take off like an airplane. That's how it looked like. So when I'm sitting and eating, um, you'll see how long it took. It took me a little couple of minutes just to like finish my whatever I was eating and I had to keep looking away because everything seemed like it was moving. I was trying to I couldn't like, I wasn't like really relaxed, I was kind of like trying to finish my food so I can go back in but I'm like, I, I can't be like chewing my food too fast even before I had anxiety. Um, everyone would tell me don't be eating too fast because you don't mess up your stomach even when I was at work and like on break when I, I would eat so fast just so I won't be late. Let's go back from break. So in a way I kinda mess myself up from trying to rush myself from eating and sometimes I don't give myself enough time before I do something while I'm eating. So I'm like overworking my body and now I'm paying for it. But I'm just hoping I can my body can go back to its original state which is calm. I mean, even before I had a panic disorder, I wasn't getting uh, eight hours of sleep all the time. Um, sometimes like I'll sleep for four hours. Cause I, I kept telling myself, eight hours of sleep is too much and I need to be doing something. Another thing when I was sitting down eating, um, I started feeling like everything was like detached from my my surrounding. How my surroundings felt like it was fake. Like let's say I'm looking at my fence, right? I'm looking at it, it's it's like me looking at it from where here. It seems like it's not really there. Like I can't like I like I can't touch it. But in reality, it's right here. I'm touching it. Oh, it feels like this, I'm looking at the screen, like a green screen. You know, like I'm watching my, a video of myself being somewhere, do it. Like let's say, um, I'm just sitting here, I put a green screen up, of let's say, of, um, uh, up a different state, or like the beach or something, and that's what it looks like, it looks so, everything was, looked so fake to me earlier and then when I was eating I was like I was telling myself don't don't get caught up with the sensation because you know that's what happens when you get all caught up with the symptoms and sensations you're like too focused on it so but at the same time when when you focus on it you make it worse but at the same time once it happens you know and you want to you just have to let it happen even though you 
you try not to. I mean, there's no way of you telling you stop yourself not to think about it. Because the more I tell myself and don't think about it, I'm thinking about it. Because the word don't turns into do. No, right now I'm still a little off balance, but I'm sitting here and the cement looks like it's feels like I'm on a little ditch like I'm on the hill and I'm not even I don't live on the hill and then just being out here feeling this way I'm a little not only am I kind of panicky right now even though it doesn't look like it anytime I'm touching my my hat or like any part of my face I'm a little up that's like me trying to distract myself from feeling from um, paying too much attention to like my sensations and my symptoms so I'm a little even my my kneecaps are kind of shaking right now so I'm just gonna like you know stay stay out here for a little bit and see what happens but same time I I mean, I feel panicky, but at the same time, I'm a little calm. I don't know, it's just kind of strange. But I'm going to post a video of, like, me being in the pool. I, I was on the, in there for, like, maybe five minutes or less, but it's going to be a hyperlapse. Um, that was from a couple hours ago. Well, not a couple hours ago, about, like, an hour ago. And then, um, a little hyperlapse when I was outside in the front yard eating but you won't see me eating I had I had the, uh, my my phone capturing the hyperlapse facing the towards the towards the street and you'll probably just see me like pacing back and forth 